Today I am thrifting at Goodwill. This one is in Hernando, Mississippi. Looks like they have a lot of furniture today. Here's a wicker piece. This looks like a little booth from a restaurant. Y'all know they always have lots of chairs here. Oh, this is a nice big desk. Oh, the drawers open good. I like how big the top is. Lots of room for activities. $60 for this desk. This would be great to craft on. There's another desk right there. Chair. And here's a big open desk with no storage at the bottom. This one is $40. Oh, is this a filing cabinet? Oh, it is. Oh, that one's locked. This is great. The drawers do not open good, but I do like the idea of this one better than those metal filing cabinets. Look at this beautiful chair. Not only is it velvet, but it kind of has this ribbed detail as well. It is $35. Fortunately, it does have a few stains, but I do love the color and the look of this chair. What are these things down here? Little bags. Everyone welcome. I think it's maybe a game. These are really heavy. Must be some kind of ball game. Oh, wait, here it says. Bocce ball set. How much is it? $14.99. I see a little ceramic rabbit. Oh, this is precious. $4.99. Oh, it's a bank. That's cute though. Here's two more bocce ball sets. I wonder if a store donated these. This kind of has a blue milk glass look. It looks like a nest. How cute would that be with a real nest in it? Or, oh no, some eggs. I think it is missing the lid and it has a few chips, so I'm gonna leave it here. It's $4.99, but I think that'd be really cute with some little white eggs in it. Y'all know I love handmade pottery, so this definitely caught my eye. It's $3.99, look at that. It is signed at the bottom, made in 1997 in Red Banks, Mississippi. You could actually use this as a coffee mug, a gumbo mug, a soup mug, it's huge. Or you could just use it as decor and put a plant in it or something. I already have an Instapod, but it's not nearly as cute as this one. This one's a Pioneer Woman Instapot. Y'all, I highly recommend these even if you just use it for the egg setting. It cooks your eggs perfectly. They're so easy to peel. It's worth it just for that. But of course, I use it all the time for lots of different things. If y'all have any good Instapot recipes, definitely leave me a comment because I'm always cooking in mine. I forgot to look at the price. I'm just curious. This one is $13. These are interesting. Some little Santa cups. Are they supposed to go this way and be a riser? Or this way and you drink out of them? I'm thinking this way. They are $1.99. I'm gonna leave them here. I did find this piece. It's California pottery. I really like it like this, but I think that maybe a ribbon goes around this so you could do it either way it's beautiful it has a little bit of crazing there's the stamp on the back it's $2.99 I like these too oh they have little words on the inside Let's see if there's any new canisters out here's a picture with a B on it $2.99 for this piece this one has some apples. It's really heavy. Marshall Pottery, $5.99. Ooh, this is a really nice basket down here. It's long, skinny handles. I don't see a price on it. This is a good basket. Let me put it in my cart and think about it. Look how cute this little Santa is. He has a little handmade face. I mean, a hand-painted face. He might be handmade. He 
he's heavy so he'll sit still he's $3.99 and I like that he has kind of a pinkish plaid instead of a red plaid I know a lot of people like to decorate with pink as well he's holding a little stick and he has a little bag here with some pearls so cute I thrifted these before it's a little boy and girl salt and pepper shaker but I only see the girl and she does have some chips on her this is the wood section right here. Little planter. This is heavy. Oh, it was a candle. It's $4.99 for that. See a rolling pin over here. This is from Walmart, $3.99. I wanna say that's about what they are at Walmart. All right, let's check the metal section. Y'all see anything good? Some little canisters. I don't know if these are new or old. I think they're new. I think they're newer pieces. Cute little wooden pencil holder. $1.99. Seems like a bit much for this piece, but I don't find these often and they're so cute in a kid's room. You put some color pencils and it looks great as decor or you could stick some floral in here. I like it. I'm going to get it. This little horse teapot caught my eye. Here's the handle and it comes out of the mouth. I think you could put a plant in here or something too and that would be cute. I did Google Lens it and there's a lot of these for sale online so it's not really that unique. It's $4.99 so I think I'm going to leave it here for someone else. What is this little thing? Is that a salt and pepper shaker? It is. Let's see if there's anything else in this little section right here. Lots of vases. There's another horse right here. This one's $4.99. Oh, here's a pretty seashell. I love this color. Why is there a bunch of holes? Is that for a tea light maybe? Put a tea light under here? It's $1.99. This looks like some hand painted art. Signed at the bottom. Painted in 2000. Let's see what the price is. $6.99. That is not bad, but it's really big, so I think I'm going to leave this piece here. Alright guys, I think this is all that I'm going to get today. I got the little wooden pencil holder, the little California pottery piece, this beautiful hand-painted piece. I feel like there's another brand of pottery in Mississippi. Um, made in red banks if y'all know anything about that leave a comment if you know anything about this um and i'm just gonna get this basket because oh wait here's the price it's right here 3.99 yeah i'm getting this basket i feel like it's just so good for maybe magazines it could fit a blanket some pillows i don't know it's just cute i can't pass it up i'm getting it and our cute little santa friend for $3.99 so leave a comment below let me know what your favorite item also drop your favorite instapot recipes <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed this thrifting adventure and I will see y'all in the next one